Hello, this is Rebecca here with Create with Rebecca. And today I am back with a video to show you my setup in my recollection planner from Michaels um, for 2017. Now, um, I guess they have been all over social media and I'm sure here on YouTube um, of the new planners that Michael Michaels um, Crash Store put out. I guess it was just a right, the weekend right before Christmas, so I kind of created a little Christmas present for myself, which was this really super cute rainbow design uh, personal planner. And then I also purchased this green one, which is just so beautiful. And I had this set up the week of Christmas in pink and green. You can still see all the sparkles in there. Um, but that was so pretty. It was, it was a fun little uh, set up. I know I haven't been on in a while. I um, Christmas just came and it's just a whirlwind it seems like and so um, I didn't get to show you all my cute little planner inserts um, or dividers that I had set up but if you follow me on Instagram I do take a picture of my um, weekly setup every typically every Monday morning and I'll post it so um, I'll leave the link below um, if you're on Instagram you can follow me there it's actually under Rebecca Hoot so but I did want to come on and show you um, my new setup for 2017. It's very similar to what I have done in the past. Um, but I do have new inserts, which I was really excited to set up. So just if you look inside this planner, it's so beautifully pink. It's almost like a, it's a cross between like a, I want to call it, it's not a bubblegum pink because it's not real light pink, but it's not like fuchsia either. It's, it's a real pretty pink. And of course, being that I love pink, it's perfect. Pink, pink, perfect. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so, um, I start out with every planner setup is to have um, kind of coordinating dividers. And then I also have just like a little um, bookmark or a little cover page. A lot of times I use my art or quotes or something like that. And then if I don't, if I do have a piece of art, then I also like to include a little quote. And then over here, I have really, I created this one a while back um, using buttons and tool, but I just am loving the tool. That's like kind of my new favorite thing right now with clips. And this is one from, um, that I purchased off Etsy. It is by Devil, Debbie, Devil Do It, Deba Do It. I got her card right here and I'll leave her um, information below, but I bought a bunch of all pink items from her and this was one of them and I just think this is just so cute. I wouldn't mind um, trying to put these in the one of my kits because I just love it. Then I have um, the cute little kitten from Posh Pieces and um, this little heart and then I also basically just have um, some some journaling cards here and then I have stickers that I use throughout um, like my bills and just different kind of stickers that I'll use kind of just randomly throughout my planner at any any given time. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, I have this also in here. Um, I don't know right off the top. Her name is Ashley Designs, I think. Um, I'll leave a link for her as well. Um, but I've, I know you might have seen these throughout. Um, I've seen this these bookmarks quite a few places over the social media. But what I typically do is I have my today and then I just make bullet lists for daily, um, my daily reminders. I kind of do like a top three that I have to get done and then I'll do like things that I plan on working on throughout the week. So for instance, you know, I need to go to Walgreens, pick up photos and prescriptions and then I'm working on my January uh, planner kit, planner stationary kit. So I want to make sure I start, you know, ticking those off as I get done. So I typically will, this paper, I, I, I basically put like this notebook paper, but I bought this paper at a five and dime store in Fredericksburg. It was great. It was like the whole pack and it was like $3 or something like that. It's a little bit thinner than what I typically use, but it's perfect because I just kind of throw these away. Sometimes I save them, especially if they have like things that are long term that I haven't got around to but I don't want to forget then I'll kind of save them. I'm usually I put them back here. You can see I have a stack of different ones right here. So um, and those are ones that you know maybe have some long term goals or things I don't want to 
to not rem not forget, but I'll kind of keep those back there. But other than that, I, you know, as the week goes on and as I accomplish the things, I just throw them away. So that's why I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on these. They're just bullet lists, but they worked out perfectly for me to find them, and they're being so inexpensive. And then the next tab I have, um, and again, I made all these. I, I did laminate this set. Sometimes it's a, if it's a real heavy cardstock, the double-sided, especially like Echo Park Paper Company or Cartabella or something like that, I won't even um, laminate them. But it does make a nice divider to have them laminated. Um, and then basically this is the weekly. And so I kind of tag it here. I took out a lot of thing, a lot of um, previous time, previous dates because, of course, they have passed. But typically, that was my Christmas week, but typically what I will do is on Sundays, this is so I can keep on track, is I will um, sit down and um, and look at my monthly and then plan out my weekly. So a lot of the stuff that I'll, I'll show you here in just a moment, I keep in my monthly and then as um, whenever the week comes, I sit down so that way I really know what's going on and what I need to plan for that week. So, um, basically, in this one, um, these are um, inserts that I purchased off Etsy by, I wrote it down over here, Planning Inspired, and I will leave, leave her information below, but I'm starting something new. Um, last year, I used these, um, this was by So so Much Crafting, I believe it was, but I used these um, horizontal boxes, and this year, I'm using more of the vertical one. And the reason I kind of decided to go with these is I think I could really help in making my list a little better. And then for days that um, I may not have a whole lot, I can always put in one of those cute um, square stickers from Happy Planner or from any ones that for the East Erin um, Condren or anything like that. I can come in and just fill those in or even actually put those as backgrounds and so I don't know I just wanted something different this year and actually I'm really looking forward to to using these I see something happened here oh okay I'm with oh I could already be using this well looky there I learned something just from looking at it because I see that it started Monday the 26th of December so I'll probably go in here and go ahead and take these out even though this week is pretty much just the week between Christmas and New Year's, so not a whole lot is going on. But I see now I can go ahead and start using these. I was thinking it didn't start until next Sunday. So I see i got a Monday start. Um, now what I did was I kept these. Um, I only put through July because when I put the whole year in, this is the rest of them, it was just way too thick. I mean, it was it just was very bulk, bulky and um, again these are date I don't necessarily fill these out like I do my monthly so I thought well I can just come in here and put six months in and then take out as I need to and that way my planner is not real bulky and so we move into the months and I created these covers because again I, I, I bought the monthly inserts as well from um, planning inspired and so I wanted to come in here and create dividers because in my old planner last year that I had bought the one the monthly inserts from Webster pages and so they already had the little tabs and I didn't realize oh wait I need these because I really do like those so I came in here and I basically just took the the actual um, page and I glued it to a heavier cardstock and I just added some washi. I add, added these cute little journaling cards, which I'll show you here in just a minute. And then the stickers. These come from the journaling cards and the stickers are all in um, my January kit. So I, I created enough girls for 12 months. And then um, that way I have enough for each, each insert. I mean each cover page. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And then basically I just took a round punch and I cut two two round punches but I only did um, like a half a punch here and that way it didn't cover up the January because it was it was starting to cover that up so so a whole round punch half a punch just glued it together with that you know my Elmer Extreme 
um, glue stick. Let me see if I can get that for you. This Elmer Extreme right here. I glued that front and back together. And then I came in here with a piece of washi. And I just covered up this little area here. And then I just kind of secure the edges. Because even though I glued these, um, I didn't want the edges to come up over time. So I just put a little piece of washi on there. And I decorated the covers. And so I did that for each month. So that's January. This is February, which I'm already seeing myself being drawn toward hearts. Anybody else? Because <laughs> it's so it's that time of the year. We go from one, one holiday to the next. But I do love... Um, February for the hearts and the reds and the pinks and all that. So February I did the same thing. Same thing with the little real thin washi here. And then as you can see, I'm actually went in here and started filling in birthdays. Um, I need to do some anniversary and I want to add some little stickers in here too. But this is where I'm going to come in and start writing down like if I make a doctor's appointment or if I have like pictures or something that's pre-planned ahead. I'm going to come in here and start filling that information out. Um, this is March, and um, there we go for March, and then we have April, and again, these journaling cards I'll show you here in just a moment, I just, they're just so pretty, April, and then May, and each one of the girls are little round square stickers, and so they also have um, little quotes on them as well, little inspirational quotes. This is June. Let's see if I can kind of pick it up here a little bit. July. August. September. I love this one. She can do amazing things. There's September. Where's my October? Oops, there's October. Okay, so this is September. Okay, September, October. I nearly freaked out there for a minute. I could have sworn I did all this, but November. That one's pretty. And then here's December. So that was a lot of fun making those. I was a little worried that it would add too much bulk, but it works out perfect, and I love the different colors, the way it looks in the planner. And the last... Um, with these dividers, I actually had an extra tab. Um, I was going to add like a month at a glance, I mean a year at a glance, somewhere in here as well. Um, but then the rest of it is just notes that I have back here, pages for notes. And this is long-term stuff that I keep in here so that I can reference it. But there you have it. There's my planner set up for 2016. And, I'm sorry, excuse me, 2017. Got to get used to saying that. And then as each week goes in, each week goes by, I basically will, I, I, I like to change it up. I'm not one for keeping the same planner on a weekly basis. I mean, I, of course, I'm going to come back and use the same planners. But, you know, next week I may do a blue or something like that. But typically what I'll do is just come in here and change out my covers, change out my dividers. And, um, and then I also will display them uh, each setup in my weeks on Instagram. So... If you, are if you are on Instagram, you can go follow me and uh, you can see my weekly setups. I um, also wanted to kind of show you this little charm. This is um, also going to be in the January kit. And it's just a little um, beaded teal, pink, yellow charm. And it kind of goes with the whole theme of the planner. So let me show you real quick these die cut, I mean these journaling cards. And these are also in the January kit. But this is by Echo Park Paper, Paper Company. On one side are, is a floral, and then this is what um, each card says. And what I like about these is it's so inspirational because I feel like with January it's a fresh start and it's a time to, you know, make dreams and goals and some people do, you know, res resolutions and things like that. But it's just a time to really, you know, fresh starts is, what, is the way I see it. So which better way than to, you know, really get yourself out there and get creative or do what you want to do and make plans to to make your dreams come true. So these are um, some of the cards that are in there. She can do amazing things. Actually, this is every card that's in there. Start today and make your dreams come true. 
Be bold, be brave, be you. Let your dreams soar. Go boldly in the direction of your dreams. Be beautiful. That's fun. Be a dreamer. Shine bright like a diamond. Go for it, girl. With brave wings, she flies. Then you got your blank one here. And then girls are strong, too. So those are great, great inspirational, great way to start the, the new year off. And um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.